Surfing has a lot of art associated with it. It's a lot of art that has themes of the ocean of surfing. Surfing itself is seen in a lot of ways as an art form, and you know, music is an art form. So I think there are a lot of similarities with you know, music and surfing. I think a lot of times in surfing, there's things that are maybe a little bit out of your control, maybe, maybe in the same uh, sense, a lot of times it's, it's like that with music. I started playing music, uh, playing the drums and playing along with records. When I was about six or seven, I started on a kind of like a couch and I had silverware on the side of the thing and so I was kind of just doing these amazing drum fills. And, uh, eventually, one of my parents' friends that had an old drum set gave me a drum set, and so I kept it up that way, and mainly just banging. And I was always I would come home from school usually, and then I'd play the drums for about an hour, and then go surfing, or I'd get up in the morning and play the drums at like six in the morning until it was time to go to school. We actually lived next door to a surfboard shaper, Bob Duncan, and. He used to complain sometimes. It was, you know, every day I would go out there and destroy my drum set and then, and then uh, go to school. When I started to travel on the world tour, I was just really focused on surfing, and I would get a chance to play the drums once in a while. I didn't have a drum set at home. Eventually, I got a guitar when I was about 21, maybe, and I would try to just kind of learn a little bit along the way. I took a break from the tour and I was able to spend more time with the guitar. And you know, I was doing a lot of travel with uh, Rip Curl and doing the search movies and stuff. And it was a lot of, kind of a lot of free time to learn how to play guitar. To do anything well, you really have to put a lot into it. You have to be serious about it. You have to work at it. And a lot of times, when you're working on an idea, you come up against a, you know, you just come up against an impasse, and then you get away from it, or you maybe go surfing or something, and then your idea kind of flows better. So it's a little bit of both. It's kind of like, you know, plugging away at something, taking a break, maybe you know, go surfing or something. And I find a lot of times I'll be out in the water and we kind of things sort of come together a bit. I've had some times actually uh, traveling on a plane, you know, where you're just sitting there and just staring into, the, into space and just kind of waiting for something to kind of pop into your head, I guess. It's the thing about surfing and music is being really hard to just kind of hang on to, you know. It's, all, it's always a matter of chasing a swell or getting a good session one day and you know missing out the next day and same with music you know you might have a, a time where you feel like you know you're just playing a really good solo and then you try to reproduce that feeling and when it comes to improvising with music especially you can't keep repeating I mean you can but it just doesn't happen automatically so that's why more structure is good with surfing and, and with playing music I think Structure is important.